Hello everybody, I just finished shooting this Full Metal Alchemist Winry Auto Mail Roleplay and before the video begins, I want to take a minute to just say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video which is the fantastic Crunchyroll so if you go to crunchyroll.com slash gb g i b i you can access your 14 day free trial of Crunchyroll Premium so that means you get a ton of anime titles that are ad free professionally subtitled uh, there's dubs available and you can watch it on your computer, your phone, Xbox, Roku, PlayStation, I think a bunch of other places too. But I just finished watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood on there, which was your guys' recommendation for me right after I finished Boku no Hero Academia on Crunchyroll. So I officially finished another series. I freaking loved it. I highly recommend it. It gets the GB recommend seal of approval. But now I need a new anime to watch. I'm in between a couple, so help me pick in the comments. And hopefully I can make this sort of like a monthly anime based roleplay thing. That'd be really fun. But if you'd like to check out Crunchyroll, you want to watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood to catch up on this roleplay, or a ton of other anime titles, please check out crunchyroll.com slash gb. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the roleplay. And all of the information will be in the description box. Hey there. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm Winry Rockbell. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Is this your first time at Garfield's? Yes. Okay. I didn't think I've seen you in here before. Alright. Well, I am Mr. Garfield's apprentice, so if you have an appointment today, That'll be with me. Don't worry, because you will get the best auto mail with the best discount. Right, fantastic. So you do have an appointment. Okay. Let me just go ahead and grab my book then. Okay, so you said your name was. There you are. Alright. And it looks like you're in for a brand new auto mail hand. This is your left hand, right? Correct. Okay. Do you mind if I take a look? Perfect. Like you already have the housing mechanism on. How long ago did you lose your hand? Let's see. But you never got auto mail made. Who did this work? Before the war. I'm sorry to hear that. And you haven't heard from your engineer since? No problem. It seems like they did a very good job with the base of this, so, you know, we, we won't have to redo that, which is good news for you, 
because I'm sure you remember that. That's the most painful part anyway, so it's smooth sailing with me. We'll have to connect the nerves at the end, but um, I'll give you a numbing treatment, so it won't be so bad. Okay, so are you ready to go through the options of your new hand? Awesome. Okay. This is the fun part. Alright. So, I have my sketchbook here, and I'm no artist, but I can give you some examples of what we can do today. What you want for starters is your standard forefinger, one thumb, hand, okay? Alright, so this is going to Locate what's most natural to you, what you were used to. You would be surprised at some of the things people come in here and ask for. Nobody needs two thumbs. At least not to start out with. Getting a standard hand also simplifies the nerve connection process. If you make it complex, then you're going to have to sacrifice nerve endings from different parts, and it just makes sense to go the standard route, at least, for your first auto mail. Perfect. Okay, so you don't need any combat auto mail, do you? I've done a few small attachments, but it's not really my forte. We have some more useful day-to-day -day perks that I can suggest to you. Okay? Awesome. Alright. Now, the basic uh, starter auto mail is going to be steel, but we do have upgrade options here. And can write these out for you. So our options that we have in the shop carbon fiber fiberglass Copper nickel, and then we have aluminum alloys. And these are the upgrades that you can make to the steel. So, our most expensive is going to be the carbon fiber. This is actually something that I would recommend for the fingertips. Okay, and let me explain. Essentially, what you have are smooth steel um, rounded points as fingers, and if you splurge on the upgrade here, you're going to find that it's more comfortable 
especially because the fingertips are the most used part of your hand, I'm assuming here. Yeah. So we would do carbon fiber tips, and it comes in a set. It's a flat feet. Would you be interested in that? Okay. And, on the plus side, it looks really cool. Okay. I can also offer you... There we go. A thermoplastic covering. Do you travel up north? Okay, that's fine. Now, see, the reason I ask is because if you spend a lot of time in the heat, uh, the thermoplastic can actually bend and become undone. So, if you're going up north, that shouldn't be an issue then. It's really the extreme heat. Anybody who, God forbid, travels through the desert. I can show you a sample of the thermoplast. Would you be interested? Okay. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here's a sample sheet. As you can see, it comes in uh, flat, hard, semi-flexible state. And what we do, and I can actually show you here, is we heat it up. Okay. As you can see, it gets extremely flexible. So we would be able to mold this into a pretty intricate design. So this is if you want anything more precise. This is our best bet here. So once you mold it into the shape, once it cools down, it will be just as hard as it was before we heated it up. Okay, we'll keep it as an option. Go ahead and put this aside then. Alright, now, talking about the joints. Again, I'm going to recommend the standard here. So that means we're going to have the standard two-point joint on each finger. And 
and one on the thumb. That's where the auto mail is going to have give and be able to bend. So that's like your standard finger has two bending points, the joints. And then on the thumb, we get the one. Does that sound good to you? I figured. We typically don't like to do more than two joints. Um, unless we extend the finger length, but again, that would be a more complex upgrade that if you were looking for, we could do some time in the future. All right. I will say that the standard auto mail does not give you the capability to cup your hand, your palm, like this, but you should get pretty flexible use out of the fingers, even though it is metal, but moving the joints inward, that's where you might find some stiffness. Yeah, but it's to be expected. Luckily, your new hand will be much tougher. All right, I just wanted to give you that forewarning. Now for the upgrades, fun part. A lot of customers have returned to me being quite happy with adding the ignite feature on the ring finger. So that means we would add a port under the knuckle. So there's going to be a knuckle point on every finger. And thumb and the port we would typically put under the ring finger. So the ring finger is hollow, you would be able to fill it with lighter fluid. We have spout here and you'll be able to shoot a tiny flame out of your finger. Not bad. The strength is about the same as your standard match. Probably a bit stronger, but it's very useful for things such as lighting the stove or candles or a torch. Would you be interested? Okay. Like I said, we've had a lot of uh, rave reviews about this upgrade. It's something small, but something a little fun and useful at the same time. You are of age. Okay, I have to, I have to ask. I can't be equipping flammables to just anybody who walks in. Now the next upgrade that I would recommend is in lieu of fingernails. Since the ends of the fingers will be smooth. We do recommend getting ridges placed on the second and third finger. They're not going to look like fingernails, it's just going to be an extended ridge at the tip that gives you some sort of function and give like a fingernail would. Now, if you go with the carbon fiber fingertip option, which I do recommend, it'll just be black, a black ridge at the end. So you'll find that your, your hand will gain a lot more function, such as opening tabs or being able to scratch yourself. No, they're not too sharp. We haven't had any complaints yet, and uh, you won't have to trim them. Okay. It's 
sounds good. I will put you down for the second and third finger. Okay, moving on. Flipping your hand over, we want to address the palm. Now for here, we typically go with the uh, padded palm with a leather overlay. This makes it a little bit softer, and this is new. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it, it is leather covered, but it's not fully rip resistant. So you should be totally fine with day-to-day -day use and wear, but be a little careful around blades or sharp corners. You won't have full feeling, so sometimes it's hard to notice if something's hurting your auto mail. Yes, you'll be able to feel a little bit. I've heard it's not exactly like your other hand feels, but um, I actually heard the sensation is quite strange, but you'll get used to it. We have a lot of happy customers coming back to us, and yes, there's outreach groups and circles you can join. I believe there is one for hand auto mail parts. Yeah, they meet every Tuesday. Okay. So, with that in mind, and with the palm, do leather, and I'm just sketching out the panels that I want to make sure I put in. It seems like our design is ready to go. Would you like to take a look? Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to put this here for reference. All right. And we're going to start with the framework. Now remember, you can always come back for adjustments or upgrades. Um, but I think what we have here is a great starting point. Fantastic. Let me grab some of my tools. You can get started. So I'm going to need you to put your hand right here. Where your hand will be. You can see me build it up right before your eyes. So this is going to be attached to the metal framework that you already have. Mm -hmm. And this looks like it has healed really nicely. Your engineer was very talented. I see a lot of botched jobs coming in, so you can definitely consider yourself lucky there. Now, none of this should hurt at any time, so just let me know how you're feeling, if you have any questions about what I'm doing, or if you need a break. So this tool is just for measuring. I'm gonna go ahead and get close and mark out the points. There we go.
did you grow up here? I see. Well, I've been in Rush Valley for a couple months now. I like it a lot. Oh, I'm from Orisimbul. You haven't heard of it. Well, I suppose it's pretty small. Oh, it's very rural. We have a lot of sheep. Sheep farmers. I grew up there with my grandmother after my parents died. They were doctors during the Ishvalan War. Yeah. I I want to help people like they did. But <laughs> I swear I'm no good at medicine, even though some people think otherwise. I guess surgery on the body is sort of similar to building auto mail, but um it's the tiny details that are important. Auto mail is where I thrive. Okay, how's that for size? Comparing it to your other hand, it should be very similar. I got the measurements. I got them right? Good. Alright. Hmm. this. Thank you. And I'm going to use this one. Okay. Place that in. Talk it away. How's that feel? Let's get the next screw in. Perfect. gonna be your center socket. So let's get that nice and tight. We don't want this slipping because this is going to help secure the framework for the rest of the Okay, 
Let's do each finger. And don't worry, I'll make sure every finger is in the right place. Okay, how's that layout? I think it looks perfect. Let me... So tell me a little bit about yourself. What about your family? Just me, my parents, my grandmother. I felt a little guilty leaving grandmother alone, but I feel like, you know, she would have killed me if I hadn't gone here. I've always wanted to go to Rush Valley. Oh, yeah. Obviously, it is an automail engineer's absolute dream. Finger. Take this off. Okay. Give it a tight. They're getting good at those. <laughs> and then your pinky finger. Little tiny one. base framework is complete. Well, it's time to start adding the wire in. This will give you the more complex capabilities. Yeah, so I'm actually fairly good at doing the wire. This shouldn't take more than a few minutes actually. Doing repairs takes longer for me 
than building from the top because usually with repairs my clients seem to damage their auto mail beyond you know standard wear and tear well I built my first pair of lens when I was 11 for the full metal alchemist himself you're familiar. Yeah. Edward Elric. We grew up together. Oh, he's stubborn and annoying. And he's much smaller in real life. <laughs> I'm not I'm not kidding. But don't tell him I said that. On second thought, you can tell him I said that. Where are my wire cutters? Ah, here we go. So what I'm going to need you to do is just keep your hand in the same spot. I'm going to maneuver it for you. Okay. But you just stay put. You've been doing great. Then I want to be able to bend this around. in here. I'm glad. I am actually baking an apple pie in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. You can have some after your appointment. Mm. Sure, sure. No problem. Okay. Yeah, this gets a little wonky. This will all be concealed by the outer panels. So if you ever notice any wire exposed, uh, come in right away. Okay. Yep. No, like I said, this is a fairly quick process. All right. Let's get that. Snipped off. Okay. Very good. Now that the wiring's done, let's do the details. I'll make sure to add the port and the ridges that we were talking about. I'm going to go ahead and clip this back. Another one. Okay. And we're going to add in the port. So this is where you're going to be able to put in the, um, the lighter fluid. Okay. Okay. And a little screw on the end where the lighter fluid will ignite. Yep, exactly. Okay. 
All right. How is your wrist doing? You okay? There can be a bit of tugging and pulling, so I know that you can get a little stiff and sore. You're all bolted in, so you actually should be able to move your wrist around. Can you try that for me? Good. Can you go back and forth? How about side to side? Hi! Okay. Looks pretty darn good. Okay. Alright. Let me add those ridges in. And for that, I'm going to need my bleed. So this just goes right under the carbon fiber. Have you ever known any alchemists? <laughs> yeah. I know what it's like growing up alone. It would take me three hours to fix something that it would take him five seconds. I know there's a lot of studying and hard work that goes into being an alchemist, but... When the military came to ask Ed to be a state alchemist, I didn't think I'd ever see him again. I'm glad I left Resimbool, but I'm sure I'll be back as well. <sighs> Listen to me jabbering on. You didn't sign up to have your ear talked off. We are almost done. What I'm going to do is polish this baby up. We have a oil treatment for the leather palm. Okay. And this is a one-time treatment, so you can come and get it retreated every year if you'd like, uh, or you can do it at home, but this bottle is the most important one to do this one time. Okay. So I'm going to put this right in your palm on the leather. And Rub that in. Let me get my rag. Get the excess off. So, are you ready to connect the nerves? All right. I'm not going to wear my work gloves for this part because it's a bit intricate. Um, just letting you know. Okay, let's give you the numbing spray. Settles in. Get my tools that I'm gonna need. Ah, here it is. So I have the 
protector. And if you're a bit squeamish, you can look away at this part. But just yeah. This is why people say I'm suited for surgery. On three, I'm going to push your hand into the housing unit, okay? One, two, three. Can you wiggle your finger? All right. Move your wrist. Go like this. Flip your palm up and down. Good. Very good. Okay. Let's oil the joints. And then you can pretty much be on your way. You can get this um, out of the shop. We can sell you one for home. And this oil we recommend to use once a day probably in the morning because when you sleep you don't need it but it's nice to have a good oil right when you wake up okay so you're gonna have to seriously follow your recovery period regimen I want you to exercise the hand about 10 minutes a day. Okay. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this right in the joints. Okay, so this is going. So this oil can go on daily, right in the morning, and your recovery. So for the first couple weeks, I'm going to have you exercise your hand for 10 minutes every hour while you're awake. Just for the first couple of weeks, um, but then otherwise, keep it rested. It is... Um, a bit of a long recovery period, about five months before your hand should fully adapt to the rest of your body. But take it slow. Your auto mail should be forever. So it's not like it's never gonna break or, you know, need upgrades, but it should be pretty permanent. So five months of being patient and careful is going to be worth it in the long run. But if you have any problems, any questions, you can stop by here. You can give us a call. And would you like to make your checkup appointment now? Okay, great. So that's going to be in... Two to three weeks. Yes, I can do that. Now you prefer morning or afternoon? Okay. I can do that. 
Well, then I will see you then. And if anybody asks you about your new hand, tell them it's from Winry Rockbell. I know it's important to be humble, but I'm trying to maintain clients here. Thank you so much for coming in. I hope you love your new auto male prosthetic. I'll see you soon.